Hello YouTube, I'm the English Smoker and I'm currently enjoying a nice bowl of Squadron Leader in my trusty Falcon Pipe. As the channel name suggests, I'm a UK based uh, presenter. And despite the reputation we have for bad weather in the UK, as you can see today, very nice. Blue sky, bit of sun, not very cold. Very nice indeed, but us Brits have to be prepared because you never know when the rain might strike. I don't think it's going to today though. I'm primarily a pipe smoker with the occasional cigar. And up until about six months ago, I was a cigarette smoker. And I think at that time, if you'd asked me to pick between pipes and cigars, or cigarettes, I think the pipes and cigars would have been kicked right into touch. As any cigarette no, uh, smoker will know, it's a very, very difficult habit. Uh, but now I've managed to quit, I'm enjoying the pipes and the tobacco and the cigars and everything else far more than I used to. Everything in moderation, as my father always says. And I think actually a well-known presenter called Stogie Farts did a pretty decent video on that. Very funny. And if I can find that, I'll post the link downstairs in the description. Downstairs? Down below in the description. Just talking about the Falcon pipe for a moment. This is the first decent pipe that I bought. And I didn't buy it on a recommendation or any videos that I'd watched or anything like that at all. I actually bought it because as a young child, about seven years of age, we had a family friend who used to smoke one of these and I was always really really interested in them um, I love the smell I love the look I mean it's absolutely fantastic and uh, somewhere in my uh, young seven year old mind well, that stuck so when I decided to take up the, the activity of pipe smoking it had to be a falcon I had a couple of basket pipes before that, but the Falcon was the first proper one that I actually bought. Might not be raining, but it's windy. Anyway. I think they're a really good pipe. They're a very cool smoke, they're a very dry smoke, they're a very easy pipe to look after. Not going to burn your tongue. In fact, actually, if I was to give them a description, I would say they're a posh cob. A pipe about town, if you will. Cool cobs are great. They don't ghost, they don't burn your tongue, they're very easy to smoke, they're very cheap. Um, a great place to start but I think if you want something a little bit smarter that's your thing I don't think you can go wrong with a falcon very very good pipe anyway I'm new to making videos as you can probably tell this is the first one I've ever ever uploaded to YouTube or anywhere at all and I'm sat in my garden talking to my phone and I'd imagine my neighbours probably think I've gone a bit crazy Giving them a laugh, no doubt. They'll get over it. <laughs> but will I? Now, I've got a couple of ideas going forward with this channel. Um, I've got a nice Savinelli pipe. Um, but unfortunately, I've uh, damaged it a little bit. It's a billiard pipe. It's not very old. I'm only still trying to burn it in. But I saw this wonderful video on YouTube about the uh, German or Frank method of packing. So, I packed the Savonelli up nice and tight, smoking away beautiful. Glanced down into it and I noticed it was only burning down the centre of the bowl, not around the edges. So, like a smart aleck, I got my lighter, on a still day, unlike today. Gave it a good blast around the bowl and kept puffing and puffing and puffing without really thinking about what I was doing. And then when I cleaned it out later, I saw that I'd burnt a whacking great big crater out of the inside of the bowl. 
So what I'm going to do with that is uh, I'm going to do a bit of an experiment with pipe mud. And I'm going to record that and uh, show you how I get on. Never done it before, so that should be quite interesting. Now, I understand you need to smoke a cigar for that one, so that's going to be a real hardship. Also, I've got myself a selection of 10 base tobaccos, which I purchased from GQ Tobaccos here in the UK. And I'd say with the exception of probably Perique, Latakia and Virginia, probably couldn't identify any of them in isolation. What I actually plan to do is I'm going to record a series of tests on these, or taste tests if you will. And I'm going to record my, my notes on YouTube uh, whilst I'm doing it um, for you all to enjoy. Um, should be interesting and hopefully quite entertaining. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. and Thank you for watching. I've been the English Smoker. See you next time.